हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू अनदर न्यू वीडियो ऑन मास्टर सो आज आई प्रॉमिस इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट अ स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच एंड यूज दिस मास्टर डिपेंडेंसी ऑन इट टू मैप डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल्स ओके सो गाइस बाय नॉट वेस्टिंग टू मच टाइम लेट्स डायरेक्टली जंप टू द कोडिंग पार्ट सो लेट मी गो टू माय वर्कस्पेस सो दिस इज माय वर्कस्पेस स्प्रिंग बूट वर्कस्पेस सो लेट मी क्रिएट अ स्प्रिंग स्टार्टर प्रोजेक्ट क्विकली so here you can see there is a link to create new spring boot starter project so let me directly click here to create a new spring boot starter project okay so let me give the name like spring boot with master uh, demo let me give like this okay so for the demo purposes i am just showing you how you can uh, create a spring boot uh, starter project and what are the dependencies you need to add inside uh, the pom.xml as i am going to create a maven project so that we can Use map struct inside our application. Okay, so see, so Spring Boot with map struct demo. So here, the so type is Maven. As I am going to create a Maven project, and packaging is Java, and I am using the Java version 8 language Java. Okay, so the group name is com. That app that easy to access, and the artifact is Spring Boot with map struct demo. So that's it. Packaging. Let me change the packaging as well. Com. That app. That easy to access. So this is the packaging. Add this project to this work set. Okay, then click here next. Then now I'll add the dependencies needed for this application. So first I'll choose the Spring Web. Okay, as it says Web application. Then for the database I need to use Spring Data JPA. Then MySQL driver and we'll use Lumber project Lumber. Okay, uh, so what is this Lumber and the use of this Lumber? I have already made a video on Lumber. You can follow that one. So I'll use Lumber. Here, okay. So that's it. Lumber, Spring Data JPA, MySQL Driver, and Spring Web. Okay. So let me click here next. Then finish. It will take some time to import the all the dependencies from the Maven repository. You can see building is going on here. Okay. So now Spring Boot with Master Demo project is ready. So let me expand this project and open the Pomdat XML. Okay, uh, so here you can see our dependencies. Whatever we have added, Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, then Spring Boot Starter Web, then MySQL Connector and Project Lumber. Okay, and Spring Boot Starter Test. Clear? Okay, so now we will add MapStruct dependency on it. Okay, so let me add this MapStruct dependency in my form.xml quickly. So this is the dependency I am gonna use for MapStruct. Of that master of 1.4.2 final. Okay, so you can find the latest stable version from Maven Central Repository as well. Okay, I am using this version. Clear? So we have added the map step dependency as well. So let's add the annotation processor part to the configuration part of the Maven compiler plugin. So what it does actually? The map step processor is used to generate the mapper in implementation during the build. Okay. So let me add it here inside this build. See, so there is a plugin stack inside this plugin. So you have a plugin. Now we'll add another plugin underneath it. Clear? So we'll add this plugin. See here. We have added the annotation processor path. So inside this annotation processor path, we have added this path. What? Master processor. Okay. So that is also clear. So now what else? As I said. Sometimes we may find difficulty to work with Lumber and MapStruct. So as we have added Lumber inside our application, inside this application, okay, we have added the Lumber dependency. So there might be a chance it may not work while mapping using the MapStruct. Okay, so for this we need to add another path inside this annotation processor path. Clear? I mean this combination works for me. I don't know is there any better option or not. But this combination works for me. I mean, I don't find any difficulty while working with Lumber and Master. You can try this. Or if you have any better option other than this, then please let me know in the comment box. So let me add these two paths inside this annotation processor path. One is ORG project Lumber, this one, and Lumber Master binding, this one. Clear so far? So we have added. But we have we have added the map struct dependency as well as we have added the annotation processor paths. Okay, 
annotation processor path. Inside this annotation processor path, we have added one path for project Lumbug and another for Lumbug master binding and for another for master processor as well. Clear? So that's it. So that's it. So what is what other dependency I needed for this project? Okay, so I need to use Swagger tool for this application as well. So I'll add Swagger 2 and Swagger UI here. Okay. So I'll use Swagger tool for this application. So I have added the Swagger dependencies as well. Clear so far? So now all required dependencies we have added in our permanent XML. Clear. So let me just close this one. And what else? Okay, so we need the Spring Data JPA properties as well. We need to add this in our application.properties file and we are going to dealing with the database. Okay, so, so this is the JPA properties like the what is the data source URL, your username, password, so all those things we have added here. Also, let me add the port for this project. Server.port is equal to 1990. Let me add this one as well here. Clear? So, now our Spring Boot with Mastered application is ready. Clear? Now, let me update this project. Maven update project, force update. Cool. So now let me run this application to check if everything is okay or not. Okay, so you can see my application is up and running on port 1990. Clear? So now my application is ready. Okay. So that's how you, you can simply create a Spring Boot application and you can add your necessary dependencies. Along with you can add the master of dependencies as well. What we saw. This is available in Maven Central Repository. You can copy it and paste it in your form.xml file. We have added this dependency master and we have added this annotation processor path. We have added this annotation processor path. Inside this annotation processor path, we have added the master processor which is used to generate the mapper implementation during the build. And also we have added another two paths for Lumbug and Lumbug master binding. Okay. So hope with this combination also we will not find any difficulty to run a application Spring Boot application with Mastered along with Lumbug. Okay. So that's it for today's video guys. Hope you like this video. In my next video we will actually learn how we can use this Mastered to map different object models. Okay. We will see all these mappings techniques. Okay. So see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.